Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's fur video. We're going to have a look at whether the 10 to 14 days for today's fur video day down will take to the 13th of uh, March. And we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the, uh, with the Xerge GFS and ECM ensembles. They were around a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at CFS V2 at the end of the video uh, for April itself. And I should get some of that for you in a moment. Just say that first video today was the 6am upload and also Gemma Friday. So please check out those two videos if you'd like to do that. Like, share, subscribe on this. Thank you so very much, everybody, uh, for doing that. So I'm back from uh, the root canal. Everything went fine. Didn't really have any pain with it at all. Uh, still rather numb, so around here, so you can probably hear, but I'm not speaking 100%. I will just rattle through uh, the video and uh, then get it done. Um, but, uh, sorry if you, you know, have a job to understand what I'm saying more than normal um, on uh, this one. It is because I am still a little bit numb, but most of it, most of the has worn off and not any pain. So um, and it went really, really, really good so far. So I can't complain about my root canal. Um, but uh, hopefully, you know, hopefully it'll carry on. Okay, I'm being pain free and we'll be able to do a Friday night stream uh, after 10 o'clock tonight. I'll let everybody know they try and receive them uh, if there are any problems doing the Friday night live. Um, but so far, you know, so far, so good. Uh, thank you so much for all of the lovely messages. I have read, but I'm not responding to them yet. But thanks so much for all of the lovely messages you've left me about my root canal. Um, you're absolutely lovely. Thank you so very much, everybody. Uh, right, okay, let's crack on. I'm running very late with this, of course. So um, I will try and get this done quite quickly. I just start off with CT. So centering temperature now sitting at 5.4. Uh, which is 0.3 of a degree, 3 of a degree below average. That is provisional to uh, yesterday, to the 2nd of uh, March. That will drop more over the next week or so. Uh, be interested to see where that is by this time next week, won't it? Already a little bit below average, and it's only going to fall further. These are GFS upper air temperature amplification ensembles. Uh, looking at London today, I will get back to, uh, you know, the suggested locations and that. In the coming days, but uh, very quick, I just got London up, you know, as uh, a quick place to uh, get. So, um, uh, the red light is 30 year upper air temperature average for London, starting off a little bit above average with those upper air temperatures at the moment. Of course, it is quite chilly under the high pressure over the northeast wing. Um, gonna be cold over the next week or so, temperatures will start dropping really from tomorrow, uh, on what's say by Sunday into next week. Looking uh, really quite cold. Um, into the middle part of March, or the second half of the month, the upper air temperatures are showing a recovery there in London. There is quite a lot scattered, but it looks like the trend around mid month could be turn things uh, less cold or maybe a bit milder. Precipitation so wise, still more dry weather to go over the uh, next few days into the early part of next week. But then beyond that, looking much more unsettled through the second week of uh, March. So, we've got precipitation spikes there um and does look you know pretty quite unsettled maybe a bit of a drying trend as you look out the second half of the month of course this uh, precipitation here is when it's also going to be quite cold so if it's cold enough some of that precipitation could be snow this our snow bro is looking for london quite significant that look at that i think that's like the snow is that we've seen uh for london this winter Although we're into me touching the screen now, but you know, you get what I mean. Uh, it's, we haven't seen um, a snow road like that uh, for London, I don't think, over the past uh, few months. And if we have a look at the uh, little bit further north to Northampton, there, the snow spikes are perhaps even more significant, especially if around the uh, 10th through to the 13th or 14th and uh, whatnot. So um, plenty of uh, snow possibilities as we're looking out into uh, next week and through the second week of March. Snow risks then easing away into the second half of the month of course it looks like it's going to get a bit less cold then. Temperature anomaly is from the 30 11th of March. It's going to be colder than average. Not just UK, most parts of Europe included in that. Uh, precipitation anomaly is from the 30 11th of March. Um, still largely driving average in many areas, but far north Scotland and southern England, um, nearer and normal, normal Scotland a bit wetter than average. Expect, expect these charts to train wetter over the next few days. Let's move on that from uh, nordschool.net. Shows that high pressure is still dominating weather today. 
We're still bringing in this cool and cloudy northeast wind across England, Wales, in particular with the high pressure around Greenland and uh, around um, Western Scotland, I should say. That high pressure will be going into retrograde. <laughs> retrograde. I've seen some very interesting uh, stuff on Twitter of me going... I shared it on my Twitter um, last night. So <laughs> you want to have a laugh. I mean, it's from yesterday, day 14 day out. If you want to have a laugh, then check that out. Um, but anyway, uh, high pressure will go into retrograde over the uh, next uh, few days and move up to Greenland and Iceland. That is already beginning, actually, with the southerly wind. You see how the southerly wind is pushing up into Greenland there. Uh, well, I'm on the tower. There we go. Uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? What are you doing, girl? Uh, yeah, see how the southerly wind is going up to Greenland like that? That's going to produce warm air affection. That will help to retrogress. <laughs> Retrogress the high pressure uh, from Western Scotland up to Greenland over this weekend. So that's how the setup is looking by uh, midday, uh, midnight on Monday. High pressure reaching through the Atlantic, heading up to Greenland and Iceland. It's going into uh, retrograde. We're retrogressing the high to uh, Greenland and Iceland. I'm so sorry, buddy. Uh, down comes this northerly wind. So as we go from Monday to Tuesday, really cold northerly wind setting in uh, across the country. And uh, looking cold and winchy there with the uh, UK Met Euro run by the time we get into the middle of next week. Then low pressure has a go at pushing that cold air out of the way, runs into the cold air from Wednesday to Thursday. That could bring uh, a cell event to some parts of the country. Probably turns rain down south, but anywhere to, sort of to the north of this low, um, you know, could get quite a snowy spell for the second half of next week. Definitely one to watch. We will be updating Snow Watch, I think. This weekend, uh, I can't looks like that for midnight run again. Bring down that cold northern wind through the early part of next week. Um, courtesy of low pressure to our north and east, high pressure blocking around Greenland and Iceland. And same idea, second half of next week, low pressure starts to run in to that cold air. But low pressure is further south with ICOM running in through the channel and northern France. That could bring some snow to southern parts of England. But most places will actually just be very cold with, uh, you know, snow showers and whatnot. Uh, by uh, the end of next week, it's midday Friday. Uh, that load getting out of the way, more low pressure waiting in winds. But it's still looking very cold at that point. Uh, stuck under the cold air. The GFS midnight run again showing uh, that the winds are in from the north over the uh, next couple of days. So a very cold northerly setting in in the beginning of uh, next week when low pressure runs in from the Atlantic. The first low running in uh, across more southern areas Thursday into Friday. That probably brings a spell of snow to the south. We'll have a look at the precipitation forecast in a moment, back to those northerly winds then on Friday. And then into next weekend, another low coming in from Friday into Saturday. Again, that's quite on quite a stubby track. So that suggests snow perhaps for England and Wales. Cold air maintained through the weekend. Another low running through the channel there Monday the 13th. So it's cold and wintry right way up to the 13th of March there, day 10, with the GFS midnight run. Then it starts to turn a bit milder around the middle of the month. High pressure uh, collapses through the country, you pull up a southwest wind, so that brings milder air in from off the Atlantic, a forest snow and, and whatnot there through the middle part of the month. Um, however, by the end of the GFS midnight run, also high pressure is trying to re-establish across the country, and uh, maybe hinting it going up towards Scandinavia. This would this is the precipitation. Oh, can't say that very well, can I? This is the precipitation type forecast. Um, with my numb mouth, having to talk about uh, this is the precipitation type uh, forecast. You know what I mean? Uh, from <laughs> the weather outlook of based on that GFS midnight run. Here we go then, lots of dry weather that day or so. Uh, go through into Sunday, that's when winter showers start bearing in the north. Uh, Sunday into Monday, down comes that colder air. So as we go from Monday into Tuesday, yes, we've got a suggestion of snow there. Uh, overnight, Monday into Tuesday, across England, Wales, more snow showers packing into uh, Scotland then. Uh, Tuesday itself looks a very winchy day. Those northerly, northeast wind, winds bring lots of snow showers and winchy showers down uh, across the country. Another cold and winchy day on Wednesday. 
And then uh, snow for southern parts of the country by that channel low as we go through into Thursday. Look at that, been a while, long while, very long while since we've seen like a widespread snow event across lowland southern England courtesy of a channel low. I'm not sure when the last time was that would have happened, but a very long time ago. So that gets out of the way by Friday morning. We're left still with the cold air. And then in comes the next low. This one's a bit further north. So this brings a widespread snow event to Ireland, England, Wales, and over rain. The snow does turn back to rain in the extreme south and southwest. But this is more of a snow event for like Wales, the Midlands, and eastern England over the towers. <laughs> Um, maybe. Uh, that gets out of the way, and we maintain cold air then into the weekend. Goodness gracious me, another low coming in there. Wow, 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 what a run. Uh, that midnight year best run was another low there. Uh, midday, uh, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, midday, 3 o'clock in the afternoon on Sunday, 12th of March. Big survey again down in the south. Goodness gracious me. Um, and then beyond that, we start to turn less cold as uh, low press comes in off the Atlantic. And this year, some snow with that, but then it turns back to rain, and uh, we're looking at a milder middle part of the month. Right, that's yeah, that's midnight. Run, what about six then? Here we go. Again, got the cold northern wind digging in um, on uh, Monday. Uh, northern winds may change through the early part of next week as well. They'll be bringing very cold air and snow showers with them. And then the low pressure coming in off the Atlantic Thursday into Friday, running across the south. That could well bring some snow to southern parts of the country. Another low comes in Friday to Saturday. It's a bit further north with that one. Um, and more towards rain down in the south. Um, and then go beyond that into the second half of the month. And the idea of a six there is to increasingly build the heights to our south and east. So possibly going back towards higher pressure there into the middle and second half of, um, of March. If that high pressure gets up to Scandinavia, of course, we could set up an easy wind again. Today's type broadcast based on that GFS 6 zeb run, looking like this. So, um, yeah, we got the cold front coming southwards on Monday, introducing rain, sleet, and snow. Could be some snow overnight Monday and Tuesday across parts of England and Wales. That's the opening south over you like then Tuesday. Plenty of snow showers coming down on those uh, northerly winds. Heading into uh, Wednesday, and comes to that area of low pressure, brings a snow event. Across many parts of England, Wales, Wednesday into Thursday, rain along the south coast, snow very widely across England, Wales. Goodness, 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 goodness gracious me. Um, another snow event there, Friday into Saturday, although a bit further north with below uh, this time. So more towards rain across southern and western parts of England, Wales, snow for northern and eastern uh, regions. Um, and then the next low coming in sunny into Monday, that's even further north. So the Java 6 said trending low pressures further north compared to midnight run, which means more areas are in the market sectors. We've got to firm up on that. It's a long way off. The low pressures could be further north or further south, you know. Um, and then we're into milder conditions there, around the middle part of the month. Right, what, a, what an update. Okay, if you enjoy the video, please think you like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so very much, everybody, uh, for doing that. Drop a comment. Let us know what you think about this, all of our videos. And don't get to your friends about Gow's Love. It's, it's amazing. It's incredible. Thanks so very much, everybody, for doing that. Can you believe we have passed 15.6k now? So uh, we did reach our mini target of 16,000. 15,600. We're pushing on now to 15,700. Ultimate target is 16k, of course. Right, GM. Again, we're going to setting in. On uh, Monday, um, very wintry for the uh, middle part of next week. A low pressure tries coming in off the Atlantic in that cold air. Could be some snow associated with that. And then a big minor set coming in for GM next weekend. So that in turn brings Bada next weekend and up to 13th of March. The ECM again down comes those cold northern winds on uh, Monday. Early through the open next week, cold wind and low pressure in off the Atlantic. Second half next week. Could bring snow a little bit further north with that air of low press compared to GFS, which has it further south, and Icon, which has it even further south than that. So all of this is to be found up, up upon over the coming few days. Tracker below is all important as to who gets rain and who gets who gets snow. So it's pretty cold and wintry way from far south and southwest up to the weekend of the 11th, 12th of March. High pressure bridging through the country at the end of the uh, G at the end of the ECM uh, Midnight Road could just maintain the cold air, especially so 
from more northern areas. This is my precipitation forecast based on that. In Sian Run from Tometio.com. So again, it's like through the over next week, being done increasingly wintry snow event there around Wednesday, Thursday. The parts of England, Wales, rain down and south snow through Wales, the Midlands, quite significant snow uh, there. Um, another snow event there, uh, this time next week, so sort of right into Saturday next week, another snow event pushing across England and Wales in particular. Uh, and then beyond that, turns a little bit less cold, maybe high pressure begins to reach through the country. This is the option on the table within the ECM ensemble today, four day 10, gets us to the 13th of March, 51 out of 51 members of the ECM ensembles, all of them with low pressure to our east and northeast and to our west, a bit of high pressure towards France and blocking around the Canadian side of Greenland. Suggesting it might start turning a bit less cold or slightly milder down south, probably still maintain cold air though up in the north. And then in two week time, these are the options that we've got. It will get us to the 18th of March, 22 members of the ECM ensembles with low pressure over to south and east of the country, combined with high pressure centred over Greenland. That's likely to pull in a cold and wintry easterly wind. 14 with low pressure more to our west and northwest. That's going to be a milder option. 10 with high pressure reaching through the country up towards uh, Greenland and Iceland. Um, now that's going to be kind of drier. Could be quite chilly in that area of high pressure. And um, 5 developing a fully fledged Scandinavian high and uh, gets him a wind into a cold easy direction with low pressure over France. CFS V2 uh, finally for April. This is the latest 700 millibar high tonic from the CFS for April. Look at this, still going for significant amounts of northern blocking around Greenland and Iceland with low pressure to the south. Winds would likely be coming in from an east or a north east direction. At the very least, that suggests we could have quite a cold April. After what may be a uh, cold March, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, temperature anomaly is no better than average. I suspect in reality with so much uh, northern blocking there, we will come away with a colder than average month. And precipitation anomalies, again, no better than average or no signal. And we're done. If you enjoyed the video, please can you like, share, subscribe. Thank you so very much everybody for doing that. Drop a comment and let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. And don't forget to tell your friends and family about Gareth Worthing. So we thank you so very much, everybody. But do now. Right, okay. So um, that's it for today's vids. Um, so far, so good with the root canal. So um, keep my fingers crossed. Uh, uh, I'll be live streaming with a Friday night live stream. Um, uh, after 10 o'clock, maybe around 10.30. Before that, however, uh, then it could be channel member streams. So if you're a channel member, then check that out. At 7 p.m. I'll just tell you what's coming up over the weekend. So tomorrow we're going to start off with the uh, 6 a.m. upload. We will have weekend forecasting, EC 42 day forecast and 10 to 14 day on Sunday. 6 a.m. upload, 6 a.m. forecast. We'll have uh, the first update for summer, uh, first opening salvo for summer 2023. Can you believe that? And uh, we will also have a 10 to 14 day for you on Sunday as well, so a busy weekend of content to come. So I will hopefully be seeing you later on for either the channel member live stream or for the uh, Friday night live stream. Um, but uh, for this video, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.